Hello and welcome to my channel. Hi, I'm Veronica and today I'm gonna show you how to make a steampunk inspired dragonfly ornament. Are you ready? So let's get started! I use a plastic disc, so I have to send off some imperfections on it. Then I applied two coats of white paint, any paint will do. Let it dry between layers. I use rice paper for this project, but you can use a napkin as well. I applied the rice paper with decoupage glue, but you can also use mud podge. Tear up the edges of the rice paper so it can fit better onto the ornaments. I applied a small dab of glue onto the ornament and then I glued the rice paper onto it. Let it dry. On the back of the ornament I decided to do something different, so I used gel paste and flexible mold. Glue the design onto the ornament. Uh, you can use classic glue. I use the same gel paste I use for creating the mold. Just make sure to put good amount of either the glue or the gel paste and then slow, uh, press it onto the ornament and cut off any excess of the design. Let it dry. I painted then the edges of the ornament to match the design of the rice paper. I am sorry I forgot to show what kind of paints I use, but I mostly used beige and brown and white. I always like to use this decoupage glitter glue. You can skip this step if you don't have it, no problem. Now it's time to paint the back of the ornament.
When you are finished painting it, make sure to let it dry before you varnish it. On the rice paper I used pouring glaze and I applied it four times to better shine and I let it dry very good between each layer. On the back of the ornament I used matte varnish. And now it's time to decorate our ornaments. I use these molds for it, uh, some air drying clay and express glue to glue it onto the ornament. After you glued everything you wanted on the ornament, let the clay dry. Best is 24 hours. Of course you can paint your clay when it's still wet, but I like to wait until it's dry so I don't ruin any of my design. Here it are uh, the paints I used, of course you can choose different ones.
let the paints dry after you apply them. Next step is putting on matte varnish to seal your ornament. Of course you can use glossy varnish as well if you want your image to be more shiny. I decided I don't want it to be shiny and now I am using wax paste to give a little bit of glamour to my design. And here is the very last step to put ribbon on it. This step you can skip if you don't want to use ribbon. You can just hang your ornament on a hook. It's not a problem. And here it is all finished, this steampunk inspired dragonfly ornament. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you do like steampunk or if you like this ornament. So thank you very much for watching and please do subscribe for more of these DUI's.